All right, guys, time now for some NFL live Q&A. You know the drill by now if you've watched the show before. Use hashtag NFL. That makes it a lot easier for producer Dylan to get your questions on the show. Again, use hashtag NFL. Focus any NFL questions you guys want. I'm sure there are several on Jalen Ramsey. Got no problem answering those because, well, kind of the biggest situation right now out there. Again, guys, use hashtag NFL to get your questions on the show. All right, we'll kick things off here with King Bomber, who does not like our idea for the Chiefs. Says they aren't in position to give up anything right now. Well, King Bomber, it's a, first off a very interesting name. I think, though, when you look at what the Chiefs have, yeah, they only gave up 10 points to the Oakland Raiders, but they got absolutely torched against the Jags. And I think it's just more of an argument, simply the fact that the argument is if you want to win before you pay Patrick Mahomes probably about $45 million, you better do it right now. Your window's going to close, I think, as soon as you got to pay that man all that money. I mean, they basically swapped out D Ford for, for Frank Clark, so I, I think they're fine. Yeah. I mean, would you drive Jalen Ramsey with an elite first round pick? All right, Andrew Nelson wants to know if the Packers could go get Jalen Ramsey. I, they have invested a lot in their secondary already. Yeah. And they've invested a the high pick. has looked a lot better, too. Yeah, you invested a high pick in Josh Jackson. Jair Alexander, Darnell Savage, Kevin King, all of those guys were first or second round picks over the past th three years. Andrew, how about this? I think the answer is no. Could you do me a big favor? They could, though, but probably not. Could you get a picture? There you go. Also, you know who needs a picture? Yeah. Dante Washington. Get a picture. If the Bears want Ramsey, who should they trade? I don't really think that the Bears, who I would argue right now, they're a top five defense, right? I understand that they're one and one, but they literally just held the Packers. You hold Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers ten points. You better be able to win those games. I, it's it's picks is is the thing. Like they're they're not trading away players, guys. Yeah. Also, I know we're gonna do this because this is what everyone does. There there is no worse segment of NFL fan Twitter than trade package Twitter. You're you're all terrible at, at what at what you guys choose to engage in. Don't offer garbage for great players. You cannot offer, what about a mid-round pick for Jalen Ramsey? No. No. So for the Bears, it starts with a first-round pick and then some. Oh, wait, they don't have one. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. There's your issue. You want to poke Tom's buttons? Offer comment bad the, trade comment package. Comment the dumbest trade you can possibly can in the comment section. Or just add him at what going Downey. I'll take this next one from Mark, Raider Nation, who I met. wonder who he's a fan of. Well, Minka Oda, Ramsey to Raiders. It's over. No, Oda is uh, German or or. And a wide receiver for the Raiders, Parker. I met him. He's from Germany. So who do you think? Megan Fitzpatrick or Jalen Ramsey? Woo! I know. I, I'm spell checking people. Whichever like, one you good. want, frankly. <laughs> um, I am actually might take Minka. He's younger. He's cheaper. The price tag appears to be about the same. I mean, you're going to pay Megan Fitzpatrick 2019, 2020, 2021. All three of those years are under 2.27 million. Yeah, he's cheap because the Dolphins are paying half of his overall salary because of the because of the signing bonus and first year contracts. I'm going to take Mick Fitzpatrick as well because of the money. Okay, thank Head you. over to FanDuel.com slash chat sports. 20 bucks free with your first $20 deposit. No, by the way, Mitchell, they can challenge you, right? They can challenge me. I'll say this, Tom, I made a lot of money on FanDuel this past week. I started Patrick Mahomes. Don't tell my Raiders people. I also started. You just outed yourself. Well, maybe not everyone's watching. I also started Travis Kelsey, so sorry. But here's the best part, right? Let's say your best, your favorite team loses. Or let's say, I don't know, you started Ben Roethlisberger in your family fantasy football league, and now he's done for the year. You don't have to worry about injuries. FanDuel. FanDuel.com slash chat sports. Get there. It's fun every single week. If you want to challenge Tom or I, set us up. All right. Reckless Matt wants to know about Jalen Ramsey for Byron Jones and a fourth. At least the player going back to Jacksonville is good here. That's probably how the Cowboys try to start our discussion. Here's the thing, though. I don't think you're going to see Dallas trade for Jalen Ramsey. They already have good corners. Byron, Cheeto, Jordan Lewis, Anthony Brown. And not only that, the Cowboys take a very long-term view of their salary cap. They are aware of what they have to spend, what they don't have to spend. Jalen Ramsey is going to ask for more than Zeke Elliott, who, by the way, they drafted over Jalen, and Jalen didn't like that very much. So the Cowboys are That's not going to trade for Jalen <laughs> Ramsey and then let him walk at the cost of what is going to be a first-round pick. Oh, yeah. The Jags aren't interested in that much in Byron Jones in a fourth. They want draft picks here. I'll tell you what, though. The Cowboys, to me, are the best young defense right now in the NFL in terms of just, like, literally players underneath, I'll say, the age of 26. Man, you, you insert Jalen Ramsey on that defense. That's really, really fun. All right, awesome boy, one, two, three, and then three zeros there. Can the Niners trade for Jalen Ramsey for Nick Mullins and a first-round pick? Nick Mullins. Uh, you 
really selling it. I don't know what. I, why would Jacksonville want Nick Mullins? Yeah, so Nick Mullins, you might as well throw out. Like, I mean, the 49ers, though. What, frankly, you, you projected the 49ers seven wins. I had them at five. Let's say they get, win six. You get Jalen, though. You're probably going to be eight or nine. Sure. I think he can be enough of a swing there, though. No, what I'm saying, though, is, like, in terms of a pick, like, what what kind of pick would that be potentially for the 40 Or, like, for the I, Jags? I, th I, I think top he 10 would. Pick? I think, no, not, not for the Niners. I, I think it'd be top 20. Maybe top 15. Okay. I mean, I, th I think you, you have to assume the worst in that scenario. So they, a first-round pick probably gets you close, but I don't think Nick Mullins has much value for, for the Jacks. No, I'm not saying he has value. I'm saying like yeah. in terms of first-round pick next year, yeah. how many wins are the what the 49ers going to have? All right, Mr. Swoop here. Could the Patriots use Ramsey and put Jason McCourty at strong safety? Chuck is out. Interesting idea. Um, I don't hate it. I, I would think you just continue to use Deron Harmon more so at that position, but... You know, I think the Patriots are in pretty good shape at quarterback, frankly, which is weird to say out loud, but I, I like J.C. Jackson. You're still trying to develop JoJo and Williams. That's why they give him the trade package. I will make note, though, Bill Belichick typically doesn't pay players big money, except cornerbacks. He did it with Stephon Gilmore. I yeah. think he would have some interest in Jalen Ramsey if the price ends up being correct there. Plus, McCourty, I don't know how much time he actually has left. I don't even want to think about that. I, I would not even want to think about Jalen Ramsey going to the New England Patriots. All right, refund HD. How about the Browns needing a, a number two corner next to Denzel Ward? Isn't that supposed to be Greedy Williams, though? I was just going to say. I mean, you drafted Greedy Williams, what, top 45 pick this past year in the draft? Second round. Um, high upside kid out of LSU. I, I think the Browns actually, I say they're a pretty good defensive team. They just gave up 43 to the Titans. <laughs> but I think you're going to see a better game tonight on Monday Night Football against the Jets. But, again, that's really not even saying all that much. Let's go to yeah. Miss Miss Charles. Mm -hmm. What it says. Oh, it says sorry. Miss. <laughs> so, it says Miss. Why is Jalen requesting a trade? Oh, he's not happy in Jacksonville. I don't think he gets along very well with head coach Doug Marone. He hasn't been a big fan of his usage in Jacksonville either. They're also losing. They're losing a lot. He wants to get paid sooner than later. I think all of those things have gone together, plus just some overall unfortunateness with just – the, the issue between him and the organization has led to a just a steadily building problems that have now culminated in his trade request. Correct. So which team, Tom, do you think is going to trade for Jalen Ramsey? Because here's the thing. I want to see the Chiefs do it. If the Chiefs trade for Jalen Ramsey, you better go bet on them at BetDSI right now in the Super Bowl. Chatsports.com slash bet because their odds are going to shoot up the board. Heck, that the odds for the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl, I, I bet you they'd be the odds on favorite. If they went out and traded for Jalen Ramsey, the Chiefs would be the odds-on favorite. I bet you to win the Super Bowl because when the Patriots traded for Antonio Brown, their odds went up. So if you guys want to go bet on whoever's going to, I don't know, trade for Jalen Ramsey or who's going to win the Super Bowl, if you want to bet on NFL Week 3 games, college football, bet the aside, the Internet's number one sports book. you got to go to chatsports.com, though. Use our promo code NFL120 for 120% deposit bonus. Let's go to HTTR Lakers. I was, I'm not going to ask what the stands for because I don't want you to be wrong here. He says, Jalen Ramsey to the Redskins. It's a hashtag on Twitter, right? Yes. Thank you, Alicia. <laughs> Chiming in there means hail to the I knew Redskins. That okay, because you didn't say it. Anyway, Jalen to the Redskins for a first, and Trent, I assume he means Trent Williams. What do you think of that one? <laughs> well, considering the fact that I, his bill has got to be racking up just rid a ridiculous amount right now, but he seems just really just playing along that he's not going to play whatsoever. I mean, I think the Jags at this point wouldn't mind having some extra offensive line I think help. that's really good value for Jalen Ramsey. I think they're okay at tackle with, with Jawan Taylor and, and with um, Robinson, but they could always trade Trent, too. They could flip him if they wanted to. I think that might be too much for the Redskins to give up, frankly. I think it's a good question, though. Get yeah, a picture. They, they do need a cornerback. All right, Miguel DeValve, would the Bills take a chance on Jalen Ramsey? I, I wouldn't mind seeing it. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Trey White. Levi Walls has been impressive. I am intrigued by it. I don't know if the price tag is correct, though, for Buffalo with a first-round pick at that so. It'd be fun. But I think it, the Buffalo it, Bills it, it, right it now are fit. a very, very fun team. I mean, that defense, I, I am very impressed with that team in terms of defense. They could be a very, very sneaky team, and I wish I would have listened to you on this because you said the Bills could make the playoffs or be a sneaky team. I didn't listen to you. It's always an AFC East team that ends up being a, a surprise. Always one. Definitely not going to be the Dolphins or the Jets. Let's go to Dwayne Aldridge. Hashtag Bird Gang for Life. Can't what say team, gang. What a team you like. Uh, Jalen Ramsey with the Eagles D-line would be crazy. 
flame emoji. Well, I still need some defensive line help because now Timmy Jernigan's also hurt. He's going to be out about four to six weeks, I think, is what it is with a broken right, foot. You host the Cowboys but report. yes, it would be a good addition. What? Am I wrong? No, all I'm saying is the Eagles with Jalen Ramsey. It would be crazy. I'm are they that. better than the Dallas Cowboys? No. What do you guys think? Eagles or Cowboys? Throw it in the comment section. If the Eagles were to go out and get Jalen Ramsey, would the Philadelphia Eagles be better than the Dallas Cowboys? I want to hear it in the comment section. You answer this question, and I'm going to give some people some shout-outs. All right, Steve Randall wants to know here, 49ers trade for Ramsey for Solomon Thomas and a second and a fourth or a fifth round pick. Now, well, they, they can't send a second this year because that's already out for D4. So you, the best you could do is a third, and if it's Solomon Thomas, a third and a fourth, the, the Jags say no. They have enough defensive line play already. They already have enough enough bodies on the defensive line that, frankly, are pretty good ones as well, especially if they decide to be smart and, and get a long-term deal done in the near future for anything else. But they, they have Marcel Darius for now. Taven Bryan is going to play the Solomon Thomas role. So Thomas has some value, but not enough there for San Francisco, I don't think. Also, Eagles, Cowboys, it looks like it's about 85% Cowboys in the comment section. All right, Noah Bockelman here. Chiefs trade for Jalen Ramsey for a first and a third. I think it's done. I, I think that's that about, I think the Jags say yes to that trade back, knowing it's going to be a late first round pick. Noah, are you a Nebraska fan? That looks like the Nebraska logo to me, and he's a Chief, so I think that all... Close enough. Hey, it makes sense, right? 